Hello Sagittarius, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot, and today I'm doing your September 2019 general love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Love. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to, details are given on my channel. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will truly appreciate it. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Sagittarius. Energy could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher or if you are Sagittarius. I will just pick up the energies here that what happening between two people or if you're a single, okay? Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Sagittarius. What is coming for you in the month of September? What is your theme of love? Bottom of the deck, you have retreat. So someone is retreating from you or you are retreating from this connection. There is no communication, obviously, happening with this person. For some of you, you are, let your friends help you. They are saying, okay, ask for and accept support from others. So it's look like your friends can help you go out with your friends, go out with the, with the people, sit in the people, talk with people. They can advise you or you can go to somewhere, to someone who can give you the best advice about your relationship, about something. So they can help you. They can guide you. Also, it's talk about your angels, your guides. They're helping you listen to your intuitions because they're, the next card here is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I feel that your your angels or universe is guiding you about something. And they're, sh they're showing you some signs. So trust that. Trust your intuitions. Trust your inner guides. And you will find your way that you're looking for. There is some answers could be you're looking for. But you don't know the answer yet. Because you are retreating. Or the person you are dealing with, they are on the retreat. There is no communication could be. Okay. It could be for some of you. Uh, they cut you out. They just got, they just gone away without even telling you. So let's see what happened in your recent past. Okay. Uh, and what's happening in your current energy. Already. Yeah. And what is happening in the possible future in the month of September 2019. Let's see. Oh my god, a lot of cards that I'm not taking. Let's see, Sagittarius, what's happening, okay? Okay. Hmm. So bottom of the deck, you have Seven of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You are waiting for this person to come towards you. You put your all effort in this. Um... You're still waiting for this person to come towards you from this retreat. Uh, you are healing. You are on the retreat. You're contemplating on this. Seven of Pentacles, there's a definitely break between you and this person. You guys are not talking. Um, there is no communication, I feel, here between you and this person. But it's happening very soon. What happened in the recent past, you have Knight of Swords. I feel they, they approach you or you approach to this person, Okay. There, there, there's some communication happen or uh, if it could be or it's, it's happening for you very soon. But I feel someone definitely approached you or to, you approach to them, okay? It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then you have the full card, okay? Aries energy. This is like new path, new journey or it could be this is like reunion or reconciliation. Ace of Pentacles, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel someone approached to you. Are you approached to someone for reconciliation, for reunion? It's a new journey. It's a new cycle. For some of you, you started your own business recently. You're working on yourself, on your personal healing. Um, you took the leap of faith, okay, uh, and you started your own journey. Could be you're dealing with someone who is younger than you. There's an age difference, obviously, I'm seeing here. But Ace of Pentacles, you started something very solid. You put your time, you invested your energy in something that is more uh, valuable right now. The full card could be you travel for money, you travel for job recently, Knight of Swords. But I feel uh, there is no communication. Our communication could be happen, but you guys, again, you had a fight with this person. It's like there is no solution right now happening. But I feel with the full card and Ace of Pentacles, you want to reconcile with this person or they want to reconcile. Definitely. What's happening right now in your current energy, you have the world card. This is definitely travel here. Someone is traveling. To see you or you want to travel to see this person you're meeting this person very soon or you are traveling for your business for your work for your job uh, applying for a job applying for a visa something like that it's go or for some of you you are going for a trip okay yeah adventure um so this is the wild card to be dealing with fixed sign scorpio aquarius leo or taurus 
Um, the cycle is closed. The chapter is closed. Again, with the full card and with the world card, look at this. You're closing the one cha chapter from your life, closing the one cycle. The full card starting again. It's like starting your own journey. For some of you, you cut this person out and you are moving forward. Okay, you're moving forward. And I also feel like for some of you, if you're single, okay, you're single, you're ready to mingle with someone. Yeah, you want to be with someone. Or someone is approaching to you like you're it's like you're dating i'm seeing that you're dating and you want to be in a relationship with someone you want to settle down with the world card you close the chapter with someone you close the cycle with someone that uh, the full card starting new journey leap of faith on love you want to fall in love or you want to approach someone with the ace of pentacles you feel like there's a potential with this person could be aries could be earth sign taurus virgo capricorn could be younger um could be they are younger than you, could be age difference, could be Leo, could be Cancer, could be Pisces, Scorpio, any sign, all the signs are on my table. What I'm sensing here, um, you approach to this person or they approach you. Yeah, but you're seeing um, some potential with this person or if you're already closing the chapter with someone, closing the cycle with someone, you're ready to uh, move forward. You're ready to move forward for settle down, you're ready to move forward to find uh, your true soulmate, your true partner, okay, because the sun card is here, the major arcana right now, could be dealing with Leo, could be children involved with this person, um, mm, or you are dealing with someone who has children, I don't know, look at this, this is two major arcana in your current energy, what's happening for you, you're looking for your happiness, you're looking for your true happiness, you're looking for your soul, where your soul is, your soul happiness, the sun card, uh, the world card closing the chapter with someone, you are healing, with the sun card, you are completely healed. I feel you are completely healed. You are into a balanced energy, peace of mind, peace of heart. And um, looking for your happiness, looking for someone. Could be applying for a visa, going to see someone, or someone is coming towards you. Um, they are seeing you, they are visiting you, and you will be extremely happy with the sun card. It's also with the wall card and the full card, I see the reunion, reconciliation is happening. Because you want to approach them, or they approach you. Something is here making you more happy. So let's see what's happening in the possible outcome in the month of September. You have eight, uh, eight of swords here. You are not seeing this love is coming, but this coming. Okay. This is clear now with eight of swords. You don't see that this love, this person, your soulmate, your partner is coming. You don't see that you are settling down. You, you don't see that there is a future with this person. You don't see that there is true love coming for you. Eight of Swords. Open your eyes. Open your heart, I would say. Open your heart, okay, for, for love, for new beginnings, for new opportunities, because it's here. The Chariot. Cancer energy. Again, the travel. I feel big energy of travel. Look at this. You are traveling. Are they traveling? Someone is traveling to see you or you are traveling to see them. But it's not, if, if this is not the love situation, you are traveling, you are going on adventures, you are going uh, for vacations, you are, you are going for a job, studying for abroad, I don't know, something is there. The travel is here. Yes, yes, yes. The travel is here. You are traveling in the next month. So the chariot, you are moving forward, sell, saying goodbye to the past, you are ready for new things, new opportunities, and you should be. You should be. Say goodbye to the past and move forward to your future. Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be Leo. Leo is already here. Mm, you're ready to date someone. Okay. Or someone is ready to date with you. Someone is approaching you. You are approaching to someone. This is dating for me. This is dating. The Chariot and the Two of Cups. Your love life is moving forward. You're falling in love with someone. You're finding your soulmate. And you're finding someone who is making you happy with the two of cups, the sun. Your true happiness, it's here with this person. Your tr you, you know, the true love. If you believe in true love, this is true love. With the sun card and two of cups. Because this person makes you happy. Makes you free from any worry. When you, when you see this person, you automatically smile. That's how this feeling is with this person. So yes, the chariot. Moving forward with this person. If you're already with this person, if this person already came up to you for reconciliation, reunion, you guys are settling down now with the chariot, moving forward. Yes, with a new chapter, starting new chapter in your life, moving forward, saying goodbye to the past. 
And for others of you, if you're not dealing with anyone and you're ready to settle down, I feel someone is there approaching you or you are approaching to someone. Or if you are traveling, okay, going abroad, you will meet someone there because I feel that there is opportunity here for you to meet this person, your soulmate. They will be same like you. For others of you, I also feel like if you're single, someone is coming in your way. It's dating. It's dating. It's, it's like relationship is coming. This is totally, this, these cards are screaming. Relationship is coming. Relationships are coming. If you are, believe it or not, because I know you don't believe it. You don't see that it's coming. It is source. You, do, you don't see it, but it's coming. The God is giving you the opportunity. It's here. It's happening. Someone is also approaching you from the past for reconciliation. Okay, it's your choice. If you want to be with this person or you want to move forward, if you will move forward, definitely, you will definitely get someone. Two of Cups, Chariot. So I see the old love. I also see the new love. I don't know. The people depend on how you are dealing with, how your situation is. But believe on this, okay? For some of you, you are completely healed from the past. You're closing the chapter. And this is the new chapter starting in your life with this person. So congratulations. Uh, if it resonated with you, let me know in the comments. I will truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. God bless you.